Okay, in this video we're going to uh, work with wearing and removing items. Okay, so uh, if at this point, the end of this video should be able to work like this. I'll go ahead and I'll create diamond ring. I'll get diamond ring. Okay, and if I type look self, you're carrying a diamond ring. I can wear diamond ring. And you can see that if I type EQ, you can see I'm wearing a diamond ring on my finger. Okay, um, I can also type remove diamond ring all right and if I type look self you can see that I'm carrying it again and I'm not wearing it um, if I type create let's see wear diamond ring I'll create another one and uh, I'll get it and if I wear diamond ring now it says you already have something worn in that location and you can see that I'm carrying one but um, I'm also wearing one, so it won't let me wear two things in the same location, and we'll talk about how to do that. Okay, so let's pick it up. Okay, so let's look at the PC class first. Um, inside of the PC class, I've created a new array list of items here, and I'm calling it Worn Items. Okay, so we've got a list of items, and it probably would have been better if I had called that Carried Items. Um, or inventory items, but then I have one called worn items, okay? And inside the PC class, I'm going to add some methods here that allow me to remove, wear, and check my equipment, okay? And uh, where. So let's start with where at the beginning. Uh, where is going to accept a string array that the user typed in, so if they type where, whatever. Um, I probably should have uh, the, the standard, you know, if uh, the length of the array is one, what would you like to wear? You know, but in this case, I'm saying, okay, if worn items, which is the array on the top, size equals zero, well, we're not wearing anything, right? So uh, I'm now going to loop through all the items in my inventory, and uh, I'm going to check to see whether the uh, what the word they type second, so they type where diamond ring equals item dot get i each one uh, dot id. Okay, so if ID diamond ring matches, uh, if it comes across a match and the item is wearable, it's going to add the item that we found to the warm, worn items array list. And I'm going to print you wear a, you know, item.getI.name. And then I'm going to remove the item from the item list. So basically, I remove it from the inventory last. And then I'm going to break out of this. This is kind of important, this break statement. Um, OK, so uh, we just simply add an item to worn items and then remove it in that case. Um, now, otherwise, uh, we're going to, if the worn items array has stuff in it, all right, we're going to set a Boolean here called is wearing to false. All right, and we're going to loop through all the worn items now to see what we're wearing, and we don't want to put two things in one spot, right? So now we're going to loop through all the items in the inventory, and we're going to check to see whether or not what the user typed in matches the ID of the item in the inventory and if it's wearable, okay? Um, and now we're going to look to see if the item has a wear location that equals the worn item's wear location. All right, so we're checking each worn item against every item, against the item you want to wear to see whether or not they have the same wear location. And if these two match, if the two uh, items, if the item you want to wear uh, matches any worn item right here that we're looping through, um, wear location, all right, you already have something in that location, and we set is wearing to true. And if is wearing is false, after it goes through and it checks everything out, we simply add the item to worn items. Print you wear A. We remove it from the items array so it's no longer in the inventory, and then break. All right, so that's the wear method right there. OK. Um, let's take a look at uh, remove as well. And we just loop through worn items. And we check to see uh, if the ID equals what they typed in. All right, and so uh, if I type remove space diamond ring, if it matches the ID, uh, we're going to type you remove A, and we're just going to remove it from worn items, and then we're going to add it, excuse me, we're going to add it back to the item, so we're going to put it back into the user's inventory, and then we're going to remove it from the worn items. Okay? 
And then uh, the EQ command is pretty simple as well. We just loop through all the worn items because we're just listing what we're wearing. And we're going to print worn items.getI.name and then worn items.getI.wearLocation. So everything that's in the worn items array has a name and a wear location, and we can see what it is. And inside of um, my process commands, I've simply added where, which calls gameobjects.pc.wearX, uh, EQ, which just calls gameobjects.pceq, and then remove, which then calls the method inside of our PC class. And once again, our PC does exist as a static object inside of game objects. So, um, okay, that covers it. You should be able to um, wear, remove items, and type EQ to get a list of what it is you're wearing. And uh, the nice thing about this is, because of the way it checks the wear location to see if you can wear it, as you create items, you can create custom wear locations right here, and if any two match, it won't let you wear it. So I could create an item like third belt loop, and, um, and then create another item and give it the same wear location, third belt loop. And as it looped through, it would see, wait, you're wearing something in this third belt loop. And sorry, you've already got something there. So it gives you a chance to create custom wear locations within the item. Okay, good luck. Uh, let me know if you need any help with that. Once again, if you're at home, you're on your own.